I'm about to take some shoes in to have. I'm too embarrassed to show the shoes, but. I'm at the shoe, re shoe repair spot. I'm gonna look right here. I'm at the shoe repair spot. I'm trying not to look at the uh, monitor, but I'm at the shoe repair spot. I'm about to take some shoes in to have. I'm too embarrassed to show the shoes, but <laughs> I'll show it pretty much. The shoe insole is lifting. I'm not gonna, sh the other one is worse. <laughs> So, no, but the shoe, the insole is lifting on this pair of mules. So, apparently it's something that could probably be re repaired. So, I'm stopping by here to see what could be done. All right, see you on the inside. The only thing you can do with that is make an insole. But you're looking at 30 bucks. Oh, how long does that take? Probably next Thursday. Next Thursday. Mm. Okay. Let me see what I got. I mean, if short of that. So we can glue that on the inside? What's that? So we Yeah, I would take these out, make a template, and then trace it out, cut it, and glue it in there so it'll be just like it was originally, you know, with that three-quarter liner. Yeah, so this part will be left, and you'll just do this part? Right. Okay. I mean, that's the way to do it right. But like I said, that's 30 bucks. Oh, Okay. Whereas this because it's more be manual a, labor. This well, was exactly, right, right. People keep telling me that it's going to take several days, so I found a place that's able to get them back to me today. And it's on the Avenue of Fashion, right here in Detroit. I forget what it's called. I just saw the sign. Oh, Morrison, Morrison Shoe Repair, right on 7 Mile in Clarita, or Livernois in Clarita. Um, just south of Seven Mile on Livernois, Livernois, which is the avenue of fashion here in Detroit. But anyway, I'm about to go inside. So, I'm called not too long ago about the lining of my shoe being replaced. Mm -hmm. And they said it was like an hour and a half or something. What did you do? You got the tan. Even if you have a darker brown, I'm fine with that. Okay. It's a problem. We, we usually have them in ivory, but we only got the black in. I, I'll take the black. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your phone number? Yeah. yeah. The black ones, this is the truth. They ain't gonna look bad as quick. Uh, <laughs> it's different, but it's probably better since it's an open shoe. You don't wear no um nothing and sand and dirty in there. Exactly. The black might work better than the long. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you got the camera out. <laughs> yeah. Vlogging. Okay. That's that's what you do. Um, I'm getting more into it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is my first time getting shoe repair, so I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right. We've been here a long time. Oh. We've been here a long time. Okay, <laughs> great. Thank you. All right. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Clean them up a little bit. I oh, nice. If I 
I had to wear them, I would want them a little bit clean. Yeah. Push your hand down in there so you can feel that cushion. Yeah. So any of that raise is just because we ain't letting them sit long enough. But when you put your weight on here, all that's going to tighten right down your edges. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling. Don't they look better, though? Yeah. See, I'm concerned with the part that everybody sees. Right. But I'm also concerned with how it feels to you. Exactly. Girl, stop it. I know <laughs> you want. I got one I know of you. Yeah. <laughs> so here, just let me just wipe this one off and wipe here. Okay. I appreciate you a lot. Yeah, thank you. Mo. Mo Williams. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Monique? It's just Mo. <laughs> Everybody needs more. Thank you, sister. Thank you. I love you, baby. <laughs> this is gonna help us with our lunch meals, cause that's how we do it. Okay. Look, I was gonna show you. We have this here for all of our lunch money. Nice. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you. Yeah. All right, y'all. You got our card? I do. That's important. Have a good day. Y'all too. You too. Thanks. So these are the shoes for a two hour turnaround. I'm satisfied and it's a simple job. It only was 25 bucks and took about an hour and a half to two hours. Shoe repair, House of Morrison shoe repair, right on Av the Livernois Avenue. Uh, I was about to say, the I said the Livernois Avenue because it's, it's right on the Avenue of Fashion. Uh, just south of Seven Mile between Clarita and Seven Mile on Livernois. Directly across from the Pet Supplies Plus. I had to turn my head. <laughs> so Pet Supplies Plus is directly across from that. Okay. If you're Detroit, you know it's right on the same side of the street as Happy to be Nappy. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, let me turn this dryer off. If you didn't know, um, sometimes uh, that's, I guess that's kind of like one of the tricks to the trade. Sometimes stylists um, will use a dryer uh, in a salon space to um, uh, sometimes stylists will use a dryer in a salon space to um, warm up the place. Um, but uh, I definitely look different than the last clip. Um, I made it back to the salon from the shoe repair shop. Um, I'm on my salon is on a completely different side of town than the shoe repair shop. But I had the time available in my schedule to do it today because you as a stylist, are always your first client and when you move into the arena of salon ownership you still have to maintain that level of importance with yourself so some things have to get put in the schedule for you <laughs> um, so I did some a couple errands today but other than that now is as good a time as any is to show you my haircut. I cut my hair. It's not the freshest haircut, but I actually like old hairstyles. So, um, um, buzz cuts when they grow out are a fave of mine. And I also like it really low. So, my next haircut, I'll jump on and show you my fresh haircut. But this is me right now. This is what's underneath underneath it all <laughs> like Gwen Stefani says today I went to Michael's um, I had a return and I was actually doing an exchange Hold on. the premise or yeah the base behind me jumping on right now is basically to tell you and this is me following the, the uh the suggestions of Gina Janine who was also a vlogger on YouTube um, you should check her channel out she's very entertaining to say the least but um, 
she basically has been talking about not being afraid to uh, follow up with corporations and companies um you know we are so um prone if you let me cut this music off hold on so i was saying um we're so prone to complain about small businesses black owned businesses specifically about you know poor services or poor experiences inconveniences so on and so forth um that's some paint but um yeah but rarely do we really follow through with any real um complaint or um you know want to reach a resolve regarding um just bad service with corporations i say all that to say um the person who i ended up being serviced by it was just like problems before we even started a transaction like took the initiative to call corporate myself and you know they without question took down notes of what i explained took place and uh, said they were going to let the district manager know to reach out to the store managers and also offered me a $15 coupon. And it's not like we should expect anything, but it's just a courtesy, if you will, for um, to show uh, gratitude for you being a customer that visited and paid, made purchases, spent your, your earned money to get some goods that we offer. And, you know, based on you not liking your last transaction like we want to have something that could potentially well obviously it's a store coupon so you're going to use it um in store but this would be basically a courtesy to show that we appreciate you and want you to shop with us and not feel like you're unappreciated i'm sitting here on a small break right now today is monday I'm having uh some fruit. I got some um it might be hard to tell cuz everything looks orange <laughs> under this light, but I'll insert a picture. This is a clip of me doing a self-taping for an audition for a, an energy drink. I was supposed to visibly go from subtle disgust or dislike to happiness and excitement. Hi, my name is Mo Williams. I'm five foot six and I'm in Metro Detroit. I'm sitting in my car, I'm getting ready to get my, um, my Thai massage that I was talking about the other day. Today is Tuesday. I'm trying something new. I'm wearing um, a ring uh, that I found in my closet that I got a long time ago. So I don't even know nothing about it. I just know that I liked it. It's kind of got some purpleness to it. <laughs> purpleness. Anyway, I was um, going to show you. I was riding up the street, which is uh, the road that the uh, massage place is on. It's, uh, it's on Mac Avenue. And here in um, the Gross Point area, it's in Gross Point Farms, next to the Blue Fan, if you know, if you're familiar. But um, I was riding up the street and I saw a cold pressed juice place, and it's called Rhythm and Blue. And um, you know, I was like, hmm, I got some extra time. Let me kill some time and grab a juice. And they had some things that had monk fruit added to it, or uh, orange juice added to it and I understand it because some people are like kind of like creeping into the health journey and having health kicks but they still want quote unquote flavor they don't really understand the concept of what natural juice tastes like it's not as heightened sweetness compared to some of the you know uh, more processed juice anyway so I, I got this juice combination which is grapefruit there we go <laughs> so I got grapefruit parsley and um, jalapeno I know I know I know I was thinking it sounded kind of interesting at first too I was kind of like mm, no but I do like jalapeno I do like parsley and I do eat grapefruit every single day so I like really like grapefruit so I was like I'm gonna go on and get it and you know i think it'll be good that's some stuff back there in the back you know whatever this is my work car well it's my car but i use my car for work so 
it's gonna be some stuff in the back here and there um, but I am in the process of spring cleaning so I'm uh, slowly but surely getting rid of excess things so and I'm actually looking for another car it's a lot of things going on <laughs> behind the scenes but anyway uh, yeah so I'm getting ready to go uh, in a few minutes back to get my massage uh, the, I'm just looking for some people passing I'm just kind of observing <laughs> the environment but yeah I'm gonna uh, show you the inside when I get inside so this is the place time massage and day spa <laughs> Restroom. You wash your hands, you use towels to dry them. And I think that's pretty cool. I don't know, I ain't got them straightened out yet. <laughs> Tissue, but I'm glad it was just enough. set up for when uh while while they working on me this type of music always remind me of like a sad part of a movie <laughs> but it's relaxing my massage supposed to start at 3 30 so a few more minutes all right got done um feel really good it's been a long time like uh six seven maybe even eight months since i had my last massage but um i'm looking for my keys it's crazy it's crazy trying to hold in a fart while you're getting a massage <laughs> I think I heard somebody else say that before, but I don't I don't think I ever experienced it. But uh yeah. Back to the salon. <laughs> oh, actually it's a, a open house I, I've gotta go to, so uh I might be able to film there, so alright, I'll see you there. Good, how are you? Good, what's your name? How are you? Welcome. Good, Jack. 
and just, yeah, and just showing around. So there's some room up front, okay. uh, living room, a dining room, a walk-in closet, bedroom, kitchen, and bedroom. Just to help us up around the neighborhood. And then, uh, I can talk to you a little bit about the tournament, but they have a game as well. Um, in, in the application, it explains, um, so there's a $200 I'm about to get my hair cut. Right now, right now, I look like this. And uh, <laughs> I'll show you, um, oh, this is what I got on today. Well, right now, anyway, I'll come back and change. Just something comfy. Jean jacket, some, uh, oh, I finished my shoes. I showed you in the last clip, but I put them on. Yeah, so I got a uh, a little jacket over this, my jean jacket, some sweat. Detroit Barbers. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm here inside Detroit Barbers, uh, the Girls Point location. Where is the original location at? I had to tell you later, but anyway, it's kind of cool. It's got some um, some merch in here and some kind of it's kind of a uh, eclectic sort of old school looking. You got a kind of like old gas pump in the back right there. <laughs> Some merch, some product. It's um, it's a very spacious place. Um, and uh, I got probably about five or ten minutes until my barber. I think her name was Sarah. Is gonna be with me. Um, this is my first time here. Uh, I'm a walk in, so I'm just happy to be able to get something done today. So, I'll see you when I'm in the chair. So I do it real light at first, and then I'll go back through and make it more noticeable so I don't panic. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. It's like measure twice, cut one. Yeah, absolutely. Such a natural. Such a natural. Mm -hmm. My girl is like, mine don't Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all too. Focus, okay. Kind of simple. 
simple. Um, I I had a. It's just lighter right here. Like I like you know how people got like circles in different areas of their head. Like I think mine is in the front. <laughs> So that's why I look like that right there, but it's here or there. But anyway, uh, they have three locations, maybe more, but I know three locations. The original was in Kirktown. That's what I was trying to remember earlier when I was like, I don't know. I'll have to tell you later. So anyway, the original location is in Corktown, and then they have, um, I want to say Midtown, and then this one that's in Gross Point Park on Kirchable. All right, so um, there's not much else going on today. I'm going to close out the vlog. Um, only thing else I got to do today is uh, go um, drop off my tax information. So nothing exciting about that. <laughs> so um, that's it for this vlog. Um, make sure to check out my instagram page i'm on instagram at such a natural beauty and that's such a natural period beauty on instagram and i'm such a natural beauty.com i do have merch on my website which are um i know we're coming into spring but it's still cool at least in the midwest i have some such a natural tees or such a natural beauty t-shirts long sleeve uh and i also have my handmade oil and which is a um avocado oil base with essential oils that are citrus and botanical and um, it's an eight ounce bottle for $15 and I have a flat rate shipping on the site of $7 um, shipping um, continental US um, currently I may um, broaden that to um, US and Canada that's just what's, uh, what's manageable for me right now and then um, I also have um, my other long sleeve shirts, which are naturally from the D, which are t-shirts that would be for <laughs> people commemorating their, or basically representing Detroit. So that doesn't apply to you, I can understand, but that's why I'm based at. <laughs> so that's for people who would be interested in that naturally from the D. Uh, uh, you can find, you can see the the visuals of those uh, shirts and what they look like, the designs on my Instagram page at such a natural period beauty or just going onto my website, which is such a natural beauty.com. Uh, to shop with me there or just to check out the site my service list my list of services is there as well as starting prices and just you know for you to get some more background information about me uh, if you would like to all of that information is there uh, besides that that's the end of the vlog see ya